What's up guys, it's Roy here. So today I have the Spigen Tough Armor case that is the MagFit version for my iPhone 14 Pro. It's gonna come in around $29.99 on Amazon with Prime Shipping, but there is a 5% off coupon you can apply at checkout. So it saves you a little bit of money. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a real quick peek at the box. Let's open it and let's slap it on. So as far as the packaging goes, it's like all the other Spigen boxes, like I've said in most of my videos lately. So you got a picture of the Spigen uh, logo there, a picture of the case, but like I said, MagFit, so it's designed for MagSafe chargers, 6.1 inch Pro 2022 model, and the color is black. So let's go ahead and pull the tab up and get the case out. So with the Tough Armor case, it's kind of their rugged, but somewhat slim, considering the ruggedness type of case. You have this accordion style type thing that they've actually been putting in most of the Spigen uh, phone case boxes uh, lately, talking about their uh, MagSafe chargers and whatnot. But here's the case itself. So it looks very similar to other Tough Armor cases. On the interior, we have the very recognizable bright yellow uh, padding that is going up against your phone feels very good so you know it's not going to be scratching your phone or anything like that you can see the ruggedness inside here as well so you have air cushion technology you have this extra padding inside that's going to help dissipate the energy away from your phone in the event of a drop you do have a cutout here where the apple logo will shine through i'm not a big fan of the hole punch cut out there i would have much preferred maybe a tempered glass or something so that way you're not actually scratching the phone right there um and then you can see it says tough armor mag fit and all that stuff so let's get the bad boy put on so i probably would say start with the left side and then just kind of push in like so and that's all she wrote. So there is the case installed. So as you can see, you kind of have some different tones of matte black and darker matte blacks right here. So has this um, nice to the touch uh, matte black material. You do, like I said, have that circular cutout so that way you are able to see the actual uh, logo. Now you are touching the real phone, so that is just something to think about. We do have a a Spigen kickstand that does match the uh, material as well. Looking at the camera bump uh, kind of lips here, you can see that they are nicely raised. So we are getting some pretty decent protection with the lens protection there. And when it comes to that kickstand, just to show you real quick, um, they've always been kind of flimsy. This one actually has a little bit more resistance than I've seen. Uh, does say Spigen inside there as well, and then it should, yeah, says it's something you want, so that's kind of their thing. Looking at it from the side here, we do have uh, just some different tones of matte black once again in materials. It does say Tough Armor Mag Fit right there. We do have a power button that does say PWR, and uh, that's about it. It is flat, so that's kind of their thing they've been doing with the Tough Armor cases. Looking here at the bottom, you can kind of see that we do have a nice cutout for the um, lightning ports and the speakers. It does have some of those little high gloss lines on the bumpers as well in the corners, um, just for drop protection. Looking here on the side, as you can see, kind of the same thing. So same material as the back. And we have those flat buttons for the volume up and down that do have plus and minus if you forget which one's which and then a square rectangular shaped cutout for the alert slider. And then nothing at the top, that's just kind of the look looking down. Uh, now looking at the front, you're gonna see that we do have some raised lips around the whole screen. So you are getting some decent screen protection. I do have a tempered glass on and it is tempered glass friendly as well. So just something to show you there. And then that's kind of the look of the actual uh, cutout for the speaker up top. So looking at the front, I'll power it on real quick. So there we go. The back again. Um, so now let's go ahead and just kind of play around with the shaking. So it's not really shaky, but it just is making a noise up against my table, but it's not wobbling. So that is a plus. And then when I do back down, um, there's a little bit of shaking going on, especially when you hit that corner. Most people aren't going to hit that corner when they are just sitting at their desk. 
but side to side, there still is a little bit of some shaking going on as well. So for a request from one of my subscribers, they asked if I maybe start throwing in the mix of like how much the case actually hugs the phone. Is there any movement, anything like that? And I can say this is actually very snug on it. I, I'm pulling, you know, in most cases when you start to pull by the buttons, they're gonna start to pull a little bit, but just all around, it is very snug up against the phone, so it ain't going anywhere. So now let's go ahead and do the clicky button tests and see how responsive these flat buttons are. So let's do the uh, power button first. All right, and volume up and down. All right, so very, very tactile buttons. Absolutely very responsive, very clicky. Absolutely love those buttons. Okay, so next let's go ahead and test the um, kind of ease of access to the alert slider. So I'm just gonna kind of keep on going back and forth you can kind of see it's going between ring and silence. So very easy to get a hold of that alert slider. So no issues at all with that. And then last but not least, let's grab my MagSafe charger here. Let's slap it on. As you can see, it is charging. I didn't get a MagSafe animation for some reason, which is really weird, but you saw the dynamic island show that it was charging. We'll try that again. All right, we got the sound, but we didn't get the animation again for some reason. So is what it is, but it is magnetically connected. It is MagSafe charging. Uh, the magnets are fairly strong. You know, it finds it. You can see there instantly, no issues. It will hold on, but a good little tug will make it fall off. Um, now I will say that I have tried this actually um, in my vehicle just to see if it you know, would hold onto like my MagSafe accessories in my car, and it does. Um, so even though I did technically unbox it in here, I put it all back in the box so that way I could share that experience with y'all. But yes, it will work in your vehicle just fine. So all in all, guys, this is a pretty good little case. I've always been a big fan of the Tough Armor cases. You know, you got a kickstand, which is cool. Um, so it's nice to be able to have that on your desk if you're watching a YouTube video or something like that. Um, so I like that. The fingerprints, there's not an issue with that, but of course there will be once you start touching the actual very reflective Apple logo there. Uh, and then smudges is going to be an issue um, just when it comes to this case and other speaking cases that have this matte finish material. So the oils from your hands will definitely start to show over time, but a quick wipe down with your shirt or a microfiber cloth or something will eliminate them and looking brand new again. But like I said, it will be something that might bug you, but just something to think about with these types of uh, matte black cases. So hit that like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe. God bless. I'll see you on the next one.